I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up live out the true meaning of its dream. It's Monday afternoon and a day of remembrance for a civil rights leader. Plus, it's the perfect time and weather to pick up grapes for ice wine. Erie Water Work crews are investigating a report of a water line break. In high definition, from your news leader, this is Jet 24 Action News at Noon. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Saida Abbas filling in for Tracy Tudup. It is a day we celebrate a civil rights leader who changed this country forever. It's continuing coverage this afternoon. People across the country and right here in Erie honor the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Jackie Roberts joins us live from one of those celebrations in Perry Square. Hi, Jackie. King flag that his assistant, Michael Outlaw, was able to have desire. When this march in Square you, is officially set to get as started, as you can see, there are dozens of people here who are braving the single digit temperatures to Will remember the life of Jr. Martin Luther King. Say. Right now, that's the president of Erie's chapter of the NAACP talking to the crowd here on the stage at Perry Square about the memory of Martin Luther King. And there's really a message here of unity and togetherness. And a lot of people that we have spoke to say that, you know, even though Martin Luther King, a lot of his efforts were in the 50s and 60s, it's so important even today, decades later, to remember all that he's done for this country. So coming up later tonight, we'll have a look at a little bit more about why this march is so important for the people here in Erie. But be sure to stay tuned with us here on Jet 24 as this march kicks off. For now, back to you in the studio, Saida. Thank you, Jackie, for that live report. Also this morning, before the march, the Horton family hosted a special church service to honor Dr. King and the civil rights advocates here in Erie who were inspired by his work. Howard and Mildred Horton are the parents of Gary and Andre Horton. Their work with needy children and the community has inspired generations of activism in their family. A special church service was held today at St. James AME Church to honor their work, inspired by Dr. Martin Luther King. There is still much work to be done, and that at the end of King's life, um, he had kind of repositioned to talking about poverty and how poverty impacts everyone. And so we also want to get that message out that in addition to remembering the past and what has been done, the mission now is to eradicate poverty. St. James is also donating to a scholarship fund at Gannon to help continue civil rights work in the community. With the temperature in the single digits comes the season to pick grapes to make ice wine. Samir Nefsi was there as pickers were pulling grapes from the vine. Hi, Samir. Yeah, hi, Saida. You know, the weather outside is quite frightful, to be honest, right now. But Mazza Wine uh, volunteers and workers hands down went out and were excited to go pick wine. About a dozen volunteers and workers bundled up with hats, gloves, and jackets to go pick wine or grapes to make ice wine. The winery's second time harvesting grapes this year. For the ice wine harvesting, it has to be below 17 degrees. As you can imagine, those grapes were frozen. Now, winemakers tell us that they fully expect to press the frozen grapes, and whenever the grapes are frozen, it'll create a sweeter concentration for the grape. In years past, pickers would go around of out about 6 or 7 in the morning, but this year, with temperatures staying in the low teens, they were to go, up, go out a little bit later. Now, Mazza General Manager Mario Mazza says they will expect to pick between 4 to 5 ton worth of grapes to make the wine. Mazza also added that out of 1 ton of grapes, you'll get about 77 gallons of grape juice. Now, out of 1 gallon of grape juice, that'll make about 10 bottles of wine. This is actually our 34th year now, uh, so going back to the early 80s, we were one of the first wineries in the east, first winery in Pennsylvania to do this, so it's been an ongoing tradition. There's only been a few years that the weather hasn't cooperated. Now, out of one crate uh, of grapes collected, that'll create about one bottle of wine, and if you'd like to see a behind-the-scenes look, you can go to our Facebook page, Your Erie, to see that. Saida. Looks fun, Samir. Thank you. While the cold weather is good news for grape pickers, it can wreak havoc, too. A water main break at West 36th Street and Washington Avenue has shut down part of a road to traffic. Construction workers are actively repairing the break, but say it could be hours before they are finished. Washington is closed to traffic south of West 36th Street until the re repairs are complete. 
Day 31 of the partial government shutdown, lawmakers will return to Washington after the MLK Martin Luther King holiday, but there's still no deal to reopen the government or provide financial relief to federal workers. ABC's Kenneth Moten has the latest from Washington. In playing defense, President Trump continues to call his plan a compromise. Democratic leaders say it's a non-starter as they move forward this week with other bills to try to reopen the government. Week five of the partial government shutdown, President Trump and congressional Democrats will continue pushing separate plans to reopen the government. This is a common sense compromise both parties should embrace. Over the weekend, the president offered Congress three years of protections for dreamers, young people brought to the U.S. illegally as minors. In exchange, Trump wants that $5.7 billion for his southern border wall. I think the president's put a reasonable compromise on the table. Democrats reportedly plan to counter, proposing no money for the wall, but a billion dollars for border security, half for infrastructure. Offering some of those protections that he took away back in exchange for the wall is not a compromise, but hostage taking. This week, Democrats will introduce a new bill to help provide financial relief to 800,000 federal workers who are not getting paid. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell plans to bring the president's proposal up for a vote tomorrow, but it likely won't have the needed 60 votes to pass. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington. Despite the nasty weather, some people still have to get out to work. But imagine making that trek to work for no pay. TSA agents and air traffic control workers at Erie International Airport are doing just that. But one local business decided to brighten their mood with a free meal. Brooklyn Pizza delivered pizza, salad, and drinks to the employees, all free of charge. Men and women are working, not getting paid. I figured they're not going out to eat lunch as much as maybe they were before. So uh, on a day like today to bring some, some hot food down for them, they're working so that everybody can travel and fly, take their vacations and all that. Uh, I just thought it was a good way to thank them. MacArthur says he's willing to donate again if the shutdown continues. Punxsutawney Phil came out on out of his hole on Saturday not to see his shadow, but to hit a few bars in Pittsburgh. The famous groundhog was in town for drink releases and activities. He started at Wiggle Whiskey and made his way to Threadbare Cider. They tell us Phil and the Cider House collaborated on a rum raisin cider. They call it Phil's Burrow. As the snow dumped down, winter sports enthusiasts rejoice. At Mount Pleasant Ski Resort in Edinburgh, snow kids and snow parents gathered for the first lessons of the year, thanks to about 18 inches of fresh powder from Mother Nature. We have a couple hundred kids out here learning how to ski today and the, all the fresh powder, so it's a great day. And though the fresh air and time in the snow was fun, skiers and snowboarders were happy to step inside for a little time by the fire pit and a little hot cocoa. National Blood Donor Month is nearing an end, but there's still time to help strengthen the region's blood supply. The Community Blood Bank is the exclusive blood supplier to 20 nearby hospitals. They're hosting several blood drives this week where you can pop in, roll up your sleeve, and donate blood to help save as many as three lives. O and A blood types are critically low, but all blood types are needed right now. Today, you can donate at the Mill Creek Township Building on West 26th Street from 1.30 to 4 p.m. Wednesday, there's a blood drive at Erie City Hall on State Street from 10 a.m. until 2 in the afternoon. And if you live in Union City, you can donate Thursday from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the Moose Lodge on Perry Street. Dealing with cancer is hard enough, but dealing with cancer twice, even more devastating. A local woman is dealing with that diagnosis, but her family and the community are coming together for her support. Cheryl Boyd has recently been diagnosed with stomach cancer. After beating cancer two years ago, Boyd discovered she is CDH1 positive, which means she is genetically predisposed to breast and stomach cancer. Her friends and family held a fundraiser Sunday for a medical procedure to remove her stomach next month. It's life changing, so I have to change the way I eat, and I just, I am overwhelmed with everybody's love and support, and um, just thank everybody for coming out today and supporting me and my husband. After the procedure, Boyd will miss six to eight weeks of work. 
It's the perfect way to start your journey in saying I do. The annual bridal, bridal showcase and expo was held at the Warner Theater. It has everything you need to plan your dream wedding. The event gives brides the chance to speak with vendors one-on-one -on -one who are from the bridal world. Every category is covered from bridal dresses, tuxedos, limos, hair, makeup, and more. It's awesome. We've been, as I said, we've been doing it for a lot of years, and it's just really fun to watch the, the excitement on the faces and to see the, the brides and their moms and, and wedding parties getting together and having just a fun afternoon. More than 50 vendors were part of this year's expo. Coming up on Jet 24 Action News at noon, PayPal says it will help workers impacted by the government shutdown. That's after Tom's forecast. Hi, Tom. Hello, Saeed. We're looking at some sunshine for the afternoon, uh, but up and down on the temperature roller coaster this week. More details on that forecast after the break. From your news leader, you're watching Tracy Tugo and meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. This is Jet 24 Action News at noon. Closed captioning brought to you by Ho Instead Senior Care. The crispy and Cajun fish sandwiches are so simple that everything from the wild-caught Alaskan pollock to the crispy lettuce has to be perfect. Twice. Arby's, we have the meat for sandwiches. Real members are saving real money on auto insurance through AAA. I was pretty shocked to find out that I was going to save $400 with AAA. I thought that it was going to be much more expensive. With AAA, I saved $300 a year. When you're trying to raise a family of five and in this economy, it's really nice to be able to save. I would pay more for this level of customer service, but with AAA, I don't have to. At AAA, saving money matters to our members, so it matters to us. Switch to auto insurance through AAA and you could save hundreds. This year alone, the savings could really add up. Plus, you could save even more when you combine your auto and homeowners policies. I have my house insurance. I have my car insurance. It was a no-brainer for me to go with AAA. Oh, I love AAA so much because it's enabled us to do other things with that money. With AAA, we love the customer service. And the price. I'm glad I switched. What are you waiting for? Join the thousands who are saving. Call 888-887-4859 for your free quote. AAA Insurance. So easy, so smart, so switch. Hi, I'm Larry Temple, owner of Window World. People know us for our great windows, but we also install vinyl siding. Window World siding comes with a true lifetime warranty. So give us a call today. Window World, simply the best siding for less. Let's see if LIHEAP can be part of the solution when it comes to your heating bills. Apply today at 1-877-443-2743 or visit LIHEAPHELPS.com. Get LIHEAP and get help paying your heating bills. Join me on Monday, February 25th at the Bayfront Convention Center for the Safe Net Scrabble Tournament. The fun starts at 5 p.m. with hors d'oeuvres and auctions. Scrabble play begins at 7. Details are at safenetery.org. From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. We have some partly sunny skies in the Conneaut Lake area. This is the Channel Lock Sky Cam, and a lot of people getting a lot of snowfall. A foot, foot and a half, uh, even uh, here in the area, the airport getting uh, over a foot. So uh, definitely in the higher end of the numbers that we thought would happen. Uh, but right now, uh, the weather looking much better, more tranquil. Still very cold out there, but uh, at least uh, the snow has ended for the time being. Storm truck picking up uh, some lake effects still going on in Cleveland area. And that's going to go on through the afternoon and should gradually diminish. Other than that, uh, not a whole lot uh, happening for today, but a very cold one will be around. Temperatures uh, in the teens at best. Wind chills will stay below zero into the minus teens, in fact, at times. Now, Tuesday, tomorrow, not as cold as a southerly wind takes place. Uh, the biggest immediate threat of uh, weather will be Tuesday night. There could be a mix. Now, maybe all rain in Erie, uh, but those of you uh, away from the lake shore could have a little freezing mix before it does change to all rain on Wednesday. That's back down temperature-wise to some cold and snow by the end of the week, mainly lake effect. Here are temperatures. Uh, many of you still in the single digits. Uh, right now, Cory, Summit, Niagara Pier, all at 9 degrees. Becky has 6 at French Creek uh, over in Northeast. Joe at 11, 10 in downtown Erie, and uh, 6 degrees again for Edinburgh. Lori with that temperature and well over uh, 16 inches of snow. A little milder farther inland, but still a single digits crossingville toward Meadville, low teens for Woodcock Borough.
through West Mead. Candle Lake, Fred has five. Same temperature in Youngsville and Saybrook, uh, Gary, at seven degrees. Wind chills, uh, winds have died down a bit at the airport, but still minus four. Still very cold out there. And uh, Bradford, the wind chill minus 30 this morning, still at minus 20. So plenty of cold air to be had as we head on through the afternoon. But as the high continues to build in, winds will die down for tonight. Maybe some brief uh, hit of some flurries this evening as the winds shift. And then the winds go more toward the south, southeast tomorrow. That should help warm us up into the 30s after very cold temperatures in the teens for today. In the meantime, uh, future cast showing. Here's that front coming through. There's that mix, uh, perhaps into early morning hours on Wednesday before it shifts over to all rain. As that front goes by, colder air comes in behind it. And then this next weather system, cold front uh, coming down uh, for Thursday, will probably set off more snow showers and some colder air for the end of the week. So partly cloudy cold here along the lakeshore. Some late day flakes possible. Temperatures in the mid-teens. Farther inland, again, very cold conditions. Chance of flurries. Highs in the lower to mid-teens. In the Chautauqua Lagane area, uh, very cold. Temperatures single digits to the lower teens under a decent amount of sunshine. Chance of evening flurries tonight. Temperatures uh, from uh, 5 below to 5 above. Partly cloudy for tomorrow. Be breezy but milder. Temperatures into the lower 30s. And from your weather authority, uh, we're looking at uh, some mix, a freezing mix for Tuesday night. And that trend will continue into Wednesday uh, with uh, early Wednesday before it changes over to all rain. And then uh, we're going to have some uh, snow showers later Thursday and into the end of the week. The cold air comes back. Updates can be found anytime on our website, yourerie.com. Thank you, Tom. Coming up on Jet 24 Action News at noon, we'll talk to you about a major food recall. Find out more after the break. Those careers where it can help people. I've been a firefighter and a flight medic, but now I'm a lineman. Being a lineman took the pieces that I love for my prior careers and put them all into one. I'm still a first responder, still answering the call when people need us most. When you're hurt in a car accident, you want someone with a winning reputation. A reputation for not backing down from the insurance company. A law firm that can get the money you deserve. When you're injured, call the Travis Law Firm. We'll make things happen. We'll get your medical bills paid and get all the money you deserve. The insurance company fights against you. The Travis Law Firm fights for you. $400,000 for my case. Injured? Call the Travis Law Firm at 455-3839. Recovery starts with a call. Pennsylvania's Prescription Drug and Heroin Addiction Hotline is staffed by real people who are trained to help. They're there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They'll get you or your loved one into treatment, regardless of your access to insurance. If you or someone you know is suffering from addiction, call 1-800-662-HELP. I'm glad you called. We're going to get you some help. Paid for with Pennsylvania taxpayer dollars. If you've been diagnosed with lung cancer, help is available now at Goldberg, Persky & White. Choosing the right law firm is vital to protecting your family's financial future. We are one of the nation's premier law firms with over 30 years experience in asbestos exposure and mesothelioma law. What you decide not only affects you, but your family and maybe generations to come. Don't let time limit your rights. We are the local experts. Call Goldberg, Persky & White at 1-800-COMPLEX or visit gpwlaw.com. Time now to take a look at this afternoon's markets number. At noon, the numbers are popping to the upside. The Dow making big gains, up over 336 points. The Nasdaq also climbing quickly with a gain of around 72. And the S&P 500 also gaining, climbing over 34 bucks. A major food recall to let you know about. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says Johnsonville is recalling more than 48,000 pounds of its frozen bacon and cheddar ground pork patties. The reason? 
the USDA received at least three complaints the pork patties were potentially com contaminated with black rubber. The recall involves frozen pork patties produced and packaged on September 27th, October 17th, and October 18th of last year. The affected packages have the establishment number 34225 printed on the carton end under best flavor by date. Also, Purdue Foods announces a national recall of more than 68,000 pounds of chicken nuggets. Officials with the company say the food may be contaminated with wood pieces. The recalled food, which are gluten-free, have an October 25, 2019 expiration date. Happy Hour was less happy in 2018 than a year prior. It was the third year in a row that alcohol consumption among Americans decreased. Americans guzzled down 3.35 billion cases of beer, wine, and liquor last year, a decline of 0.8%. According to IWSR, the main component in the decline was a drop in beer consumption, which was down 1.5%. PayPal says it will help workers impacted by the government shutdown. The online payments company plans to offer cash advances of up to $500 for federal employees to help pay for food, gas, and other everyday necessities. PayPal, PayPal CEO says the company is proud to stand with so many other great companies to offer assistance to our government workers who contribute so much to our public sector. For the latest on what's happening in Hollywood, here's ABC's Maggie Rilly. I hope for your sake that he likes you. M. Night Shyamalan's Glass didn't quite live up to expectations. However, it did take the top spot at the box office. Poor reviews may have taken away some momentum from the joint sequel to Unbreakable and Split, but it still managed to debut with an estimated 40.6 million over the weekend. Kevin Hart's The Upside held well into its second weekend, bringing in 15.7 million. While Aquaman rounded out the top three, bringing in another 10.3 million, pushing its total domestic box office past the 300 million mark. Here, Dolores. The race for the Best Picture Oscar may be a little clearer right now. The road trip drama Green Book drove off with the top prize at the Producers Guild Awards over the weekend. Producer and director Peter Farley accepted the award. You know, when you make Dumb and Dumber, you don't ever expect to get an award. Green Book has now won both the Producers Guild and the Golden Globe Awards for Best Picture. Justin Timberlake showed some love to his young fans. The singer popped into a San Antonio hospital on Friday where he posed for pictures with young patients. JT, see me! JT, see me! The kids had lobbied Timberlake with a series of videos to his song, Can't Stop the Feeling. And happy birthday to Baby Spice, Emma Bunton. The former Spice Girl turns 43, and Academy Award winning actress Gina Davis is celebrating her 63rd birthday. That's what's happening in Hollywood. I'm Maggie Ruley, ABC News, New York. Coming up on Jet 24 Action News at noon, almost bachelors Jason and Blake are dishing out some revealing secrets from the show. Are you disabled? Physical and mental disabilities may entitle you to money from Social Security. It's the law. At Berger & Green, we understand that the last thing you need is more stress. With over 40 years of experience, Berger & Green can go after the money and medical care you need. The benefits you work for. Don't give up. There is no fee unless you get benefits. Trust the name you know. Berger & Green, the disability lawyers. 1-800-999-2626. The wait is over. Stop in today and see the all-new redesigned 2019 all-wheel drive Nissan Altima and receive 0% financing. Only at Interstate Nissan. Winter in western Pennsylvania means snow and ice. It also means more car accidents and more injuries from falls. At Edgar Snyder & Associates, we represent accident victims and see how serious weather-related injuries can be. If you or someone you care about are hurt in a snow or ice-related accident, it's urgent that you call us right away. The clock is ticking. Witnesses and evidence disappear. For a free consultation, call 1-800-9-4-EDGAR. And like Edgar always says, there's never a fee unless we get money for you. Sunday Showcase of Homes, Sunday at 11 on Jet 24.
Watch the Mega Millions drawing every Tuesday and Friday night at 11.20 during Jet 24 Action News. The Your Eerie To Go app has a stunning new layout that gives you easy access to everything you need all in one place. See what's happening here. Your Eerie To Go, presented exclusively by Bianchi Honda. Available free in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Now to that Bachelor exclusive, almost Bachelors, Jason and Blake are dishing on Colton's journey before tonight, sharing their advice for his search of love and revealing some secrets we may not know. Ariel Rochef is back with that. Blake and Jason, the latest Bachelor Nation bromance winning hearts on Becca's season of The Bachelorette. <laughs> but both sent home in Thailand. It's been the most difficult thing I've ever done. Good. Yep. <laughs> now they're spilling secrets about their buddy Colton, this season's swoon-worthy bachelor, sharing stories about the heartthrob, like one night in the limo. And the funniest thing Colton opened up with, he's like, so you boys ready for a great season of Survivor? <laughs> <laughs> or in Virginia, where Colton had a trick up his sleeve. I would look at him once and I'd be like, how are you so tan? He's got Jurgen's face Jurgen. lotion yeah. tanner and all this stuff. The duo telling GMA all three of them were in the running to be the next Bachelor. But for Jason, not becoming the Bachelor opened up another door. I wouldn't have met someone very special to me right now, Caitlin, <laughs> so I'm very thankful for that. After Colton's season was announced, the two giving him advice on his journey ahead. You know, we told him just to be himself. We really did. It was like, don't worry about all that outside noise. We are there to support you. So it was like, go be you, you know, come back with the, you know, love of your life. I think the biggest advice I gave to him was stay in your lane and stay true to you and, and just be the Colton um, that we grew to become such close yeah. friends with. And who does Team Blakeson think could go all the way? Kaylin getting that first kiss and then Hannah B getting that first one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, Hannah G, she seems to have a pretty good connection with them. So I would go with Elise, I think that Kaylin. I think I would say probably Hannah. Then we gave them a sneak peek heading into week three. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Ariel Rochef with that report coming up tonight on Jet 24. Meet our good kit of the week. She's going above and beyond for men who served our country, adding her own personal touch. Tune in tonight at 6 o'clock for her story. Up next at noon, we'll show you what you can do if you're down in the dumps. Real members are saving real money on auto insurance through AAA. I was pretty shocked to find out that I was going to save $400 with AAA. I thought that it was going to be much more expensive. With AAA, I saved $300 a year. When you're trying to raise a family of five and in this economy, it's really nice to be able to save. I would pay more for this level of customer service, but with AAA, I don't have to. At AAA, saving money matters to our members, so it matters to us. Switch to auto insurance through AAA, and you could save hundreds. This year alone, the savings could really add up. Plus, you could save even more when you combine your auto and homeowners policies. I have my house insurance. I have my car insurance. It was a no-brainer for me to go with AAA. Oh, I love AAA so much because it's enabled us to do other things with that money. With AAA, we love the customer service. And the price. I'm glad I switched. What are you waiting for? Join the thousands who are saving. Call 888-887-4859 for your free quote. AAA Insurance. So easy, so smart, so switch. Here's a typical morning. Here's what it's like when you add an earache and a fever. Here's how many doctor's appointments I need to make and here's how much time I have. Here's me calling our healthcare concierge so that she can take care of all that while we take care of this. All the help you need plus full access to UPMC and other doctors and hospitals in your community. Hello, I'm Dr. Paul Malaspina from the Erie County Medical Society with tips on preventing infections, awareness of the hazards of public and household surfaces, avoiding touching your face, and especially frequent hand washing are the most effective steps you can take to prevent colds, the flu, and many other significant infections. To learn more, visit us online at eriecountymedicalsociety.org. It's a
a day to embrace the people around you. Today is National Hugging Day. Hugging is a universal gesture of love. And science backs up what we already know about them, that hugging really, really does make us feel better. So if you're feeling down in the dumps or just need a little pick-me-up hug, it's hug it out. <laughs> Nothing better than a good hug on a day. Especially like today, when it's cold out there, uh, Saida, we're looking at some uh, cold air, and maybe a few flurries, some sunshine now and then. Uh, temperatures are getting into the mid-teens. Milder for Tuesday. Could be a freezing mix Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Good chance to see some rain showers. Thank you, Tom. That is Jet 24 Action News at noon. If you miss any of our top stories, you can see them anytime online at yourairy.com. Don't forget to tune in at 5 o'clock tonight. Have a great day. Take care.